careful. Pay close attention to everything you're about to see, no matter how strange it may appear. If you look away, even for just a moment, you will miss it. If you must blink, do it now. The story begins here. Deep in the heart of eastern China lies a hero. Recorded first during the Han Dynasty, it was humble and very small. Yet over time, it soon became known as one with great power. So powerful, this rare herb was quickly reserved only for the royal family. Why? What did one little fungi do to be documented in history as the king of herbs? No matter. The word spread like wildfire. Foreigners gave it many different names. The Japanese pronounced it Reishi. Locals to the Wuyi Mountains pronounce it Lingzhi. But to the Western world, Lingxi was preferred. Regardless, the word Ling has many interpretations. Miraculous, sacred, divine, and mysterious are just a few. The kanji for Xi, however, is traditionally defined simply as the plant of longevity. Fame soon engulfed our hero, as royal artisans were commissioned to paint its glory throughout the walls of the imperial forbidden city and grand summer palace. Then civilizations collided. The year was 1881. Peter Adelkastent named the genus Ganoderma. So, in short, Ganoderma lucidum, our hero with the various names, is historically honored and recorded for many benefits and has been popular in traditional Chinese culture for over 2,000 years. Like the winds of change, our hero's epic journey begins small, very small. But make no mistake, the harmless embryos of the Ganoderma silently conquers the ground by the millions. This spore powder can turn any host environment into an alien landscape. Soon, Powerful spores begins to germinate. The transformation of our hero is like none other. And like a master orchestra, fine white filament begins weaving its way together as one harmonious accord. Enter the world of mycelium, creating one of the most advanced organic networks mankind has ever seen. Yet all of this takes place in the shadows. And when ready, a noble hero begins to take visible form. At first it's white, and various hues of red. It's like a dance. The stem majestically begins to fan, widening its royal presence. Soon, shades of purple, even blue and yellow, begin to bloom with wonder. Reluctantly, all dances must come to an end. Yet, before the curtain falls on our timeless hero, the mature and royal herb begins anew 
it releases life once more out into the world, and like nature's crown jewels, Ganoderma glistens for every creature to enjoy. Now you have heard the great story. Yet, what makes one fable better than another? Why are some remembered for centuries and others lost in time? Maybe because they have purpose. Another great story with purpose is none other than something so profound yet very, very delicate. Our health. And if good health was our hero, the villainous antagonist must be one of destruction, like free radicals. When the body is under attack by free radicals, that can cause significant aging at the cellular level, thus destroying what we hold most dear. Life. The biggest reason Ganoderma has been remembered for millennia is mainly because it naturally contains antioxidants. Careful. Not all Ganoderma is farmed the same. Many will cheat, grow it too quickly, or even harvest it unnaturally. Yet only the few, the very select, planted as nature intended, allowing a full and complete life cycle happen beautifully, properly, and naturally. There you have it. The grand story of a most noble hero. Yet the story is far from over. Anyone can experience why the profound, the highly educated, diligently sought after this divine earthly treasure. What mankind enjoyed for thousands of years, harnessing the powerful antioxidant protection of Ganoderma, is still very achievable. So, as the hero's story must now draw to an end, it is only the beginning to tell yours. Tell me, what will your story be? Okano, taste the gold.